Yeah. We know double, you. Double, yeah. How are you doing? Well, we'll see. The, the, you guys are so good since we're doing generics that sometimes you get those points out quicker than. Double well, my, we're getting more refined now. Yes. Carol yes. The 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 I know. It's so nice. Oh, it's a good ending. It's a good Perfect. Ending. You ready, Glenn? Yes. Yeah. <sighs> you know what to do. Yes. And all that good stuff. Let's start. Care Warner, Summit Entertainment. So, who okay. is who is Mr. Dylan? Uh, Dylan Hobbs is a is a world weary um, career FBI agent who's uh, doggedly in pursuit of these four horsemen who uh, are ripping off people and and uh, robbing banks, and so uh, he's he's uh, doesn't have time for love or anything other than his obsession. What is what is it about that obsession? Is it is it kind of an anti stance against the whole thing? Is it is it is he upset that about having to chase them? Well, I think he, I think you know he he, <laughs> what, what is it about his obsession? He, uh, he, I think he gets dogged by them, and 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 that creates a lot of uh, frustration in him. And uh, I think he wants to stay very close to this case and becomes very personally involved in it uh, over the course of uh, the movie. Um, deeply, deeply involved in it. And, um, and uh, at the end, I think he, he finally has his, uh, his day in court, so to speak. It's a good setup. What do you what do you think? Like, what notes does the movie hit as far as the genre? Oh, it's well, it's I think it's you know it's a classic kind of heist movie, but it has this sort of Robin Hood, uh, illusionist, uh, the good good bad guys, and um, it's just a, got a great pulse. It, it it moves very quickly. It's it's it takes us a lot of different places. Uh, the writing's really great. There's uh, Fight scenes and chases and love scenes and humor and then a really great satisfying twist at the end. So I think it's uh, it's it's worth every penny. Yeah, so we should see it. You think it's a wide wide range? Well, I mean, you have from Morgan Freeman and, and, and Michael Caine, who I'm sure have their their following, and down to um, Isla Fisher and. and uh, James Frank, I mean uh, Dave Franco, and so it's a pretty wide audience. I think, I think it's uh, it's a, a young audience would really enjoy it, but I also think uh, the 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 older folks would like it too. Yeah, like a lot of boxes it's checked. Yeah, I think it checks the boxes. Yeah. What for you was the most uh, magical day on set? Um. Wow. Well, you know, I, I, I thought that the uh, the scene in Paris, uh, that when when they when they all go to Paris, that's a that's a really uh, magical moment for the movie. I think. Yeah. How about for you and, and, and actually Dylan as a character? What do you think? What? Because he's sort of anti magic. Does he? What do you think are his like redeeming moments? Um. I think Dylan's sort of sense of humor and, and his saltiness are really uh, enjoyable, and uh, I, I really think that you know there's a, there's a fight sequence with Dave Franco that's that's uh, I really love and is just very satisfying, and um, I, I think it's just enjoyable to see somebody who's so driven just keep getting smashed back and uh, and and then just get back up again and keep going. Is uh, it's it's it works really well. Yeah. What do you think? In, in speaking of making it work, what do you think uh, it was about Mr. Leterrier that was such a good fit for this? I think he's a, a really gifted uh, uh, cinematic storyteller. He, he he knows how to move a camera in, in a nearly virtuosic manner, and um, and you know I I I love his imagination. I mean he he always sort of. He'll do an insert that turns into something really interesting, and and it and you hear it at first, and you think, how am we going to do that? And then you see it, and it's really well executed. And uh, I just think he really knows how to use the cinema uh, in a in an exciting way, and especially in a movie that is is grounded with these kinds of so well drawn characters. Yeah. What would you say the ratio, if you, if you know, is of kind of the practical effects versus 
CGI if they had to. Well, um, you know, there's, I'd say probably one to one. It's it's pretty good, and uh, he he wanted to do a lot of in camera stuff. You know, there's there's a scene in, at the end when they four points their their uh, projection on the on the building, and he really wanted. There's artists that do that. Uh, actually do that that uh, building mapping it's called and uh, but it was too expensive so they ended up having to do it uh, on in CGI but it, it, if he could have done that he would have done it and it, and it, it would have been pretty remarkable nice. that's cool. we'll do that well when uh, when can we see it uh, I don't know <laughs> May 31st. oh the movie comes out May 31st and uh, yes all over the nation so that's that's our big our big drop-off date. Perfect. Can't wait. Great. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Sure. Thank you so much, sir. Sure. Nice talking to you again. Uh